In the past few weeks, Bob's been revisiting some of our favorite Today Show memories. Well, this morning he tells us the story of a man who has spent his life making dreams come true. Yeah, that's there you go. Bill Sample is nearly always surrounded by children. He smiles and they talk, telling him of dreams they may not live to see. When we first met Sample back in 1980, he was a police officer stationed at the Philadelphia Children's Hospital. His beat placed him among children who were very sick. The emotional part of it is, it tears you up, it tears you up with these children. One of them, Christina Wilson, had leukemia. She was just three. Her dream was to meet a mouse named Minnie. That's Minnie Mouse, that's Mickey's wife. Sample asked eight of his friends to help him buy Christina's dream. None of them had much money, so they sold raffle tickets, cookbooks, and cakes. Ran bingo games, fashion shows, and flea markets. Soon, they had enough to send the little girl to a land beyond her storybooks. To a land where Minnie Mouse like actually that. lives. Which is scary me. After Christina's story aired December 4th, 1980, Today Show viewers donated money to help Bill Sample build Sunshine Village, a place for sick children to stay near Disney World. Sample is 66 now, retired from the Philadelphia Police Department, but still works at the village and fulfills all kinds of dreams. The first year we handled eight children, and now we're doing over 15, 1,600 a year. We have a waiting list of over 400 children requiring dreams answered. To the parents, many of whose life savings have been drained by their children's illnesses, Bill Sample is a miracle worker. Christina Wilson got more than she dreamed that day she met Minnie Mouse. In 1980, only one child in five survived cancer. A couple of years after this kiss, her leukemia vanished. She's 24 now and healthy. I'd like you to meet somebody. You probably don't know this gentleman over here, but that man is Bill Sample. Sample wasn't sure Christina was alive until we brought them together. Oh, it's been a while, hasn't it? Yeah, it has. A lifetime for Christina. She feels hers really began the day Sample sent her searching for Minnie Mouse. I believe that that trip, um, you know, changed my, my health and everything. And, you know, I don't know if I would still be around if I didn't go on that trip. Nor perhaps would she have this new baby, Sebastian, born last September. I just wanted to know that we're able to keep and continue to answering these dreams of these special children. That's all I ever wanted. Christina Wilson is just one of 28,000 children Bill Sample has helped over the years, whose dreams have come true before hope is gone. For today, Bob Dotson, NBC News, Philadelphia. That is a great man. Yeah, terrific guy. That is a nice story. Well. Look what's happened here. Swooping down in the middle of that story was this little birthday cake for you, Katie. Happy birthday. Happy birthday, Matt. It was your birthday on December 30th. I was 30th. on the weekend, though. I know.